Hello there, I'm Dot Strange here. Um, after I posted that last video, um, I posted it on my blog, and my homie Amajanario had a question about motion clips. So I use motion clips a lot. So in this one, I'm just going to show you. He asked about how do you change things in a motion clip after you've already turned it into a motion clip, and I'll just show you some things that I use, some kind of guidelines. So firstly, um, if you have something in a motion clip like this, like this is a little walk clip. And so when I did this, if you see the motion clip is on the character hierarchy. So what that means is that anything here or underneath inside of this will get recorded into the motion clip. So when you do that by default, you can't change anything at, in here at all. So if you wanted to reanimate an arm or anything that's in this hierarchy, you can't change in the motion clip the way it is. Like you can, I'll show you how to change it, but by default you can't change it. And something that I learned later was that if I'm doing, so all my IK controls are here in controls and all my joints, so for FK are in here. So what I ended up doing later is that if I was gonna make a motion clip with IK, then I'd create the motion clip on the IK controls, not on the whole character. So then I still could go do some stuff in FK. And if I was gonna do FK and not IK, then I'd put the motion clip, I'd create it on here instead of at the root because it can get kind of annoying if everything's being recorded and you don't want everything to be recorded so um, just to show you how to um, change things so this is the same motion clip but then I modified it so that his hands could clap and the way you do that it's maybe not that intuitive at first because um, if you click here on the motion clip you don't really have any options to do that so what you have to do is click on the motion clip that you actually want to use like here in your motion clip timeline and then you get this hierarchy here so what this is anything you uncheck will be removed from the motion clip and then you can animate it so as you can see I turn the hands off and the solvers for the hands so then I could animate the hands so if I wanted to be able to animate the neck then I would go in here and find the um, the neck, which is in the chest tip and the neck. And I think, just to make things safe, I always turn off all the stuff inside too, even though this stuff doesn't move. So now the neck should be free, as you can see that the head's not turning anymore. So now I can go in here um, and animate the neck like this or you know I'll animate it badly so if we go and play it back now you know there's neck animation in this motion clip so yeah the way you do it is click on the motion clip and then go to hierarchy and uncheck the stuff and from what I found if you try to copy and paste this motion clip or this character into a new scene or a new place it'll recheck all this stuff so then you have to go uncheck it again which is kind of annoying but just remember that um, and just some other general tips about motion clips, the way I use them is that I always, when I go create the motion clip, I open a new scene, like say I'm going to animate this character, and I'll put them at 0, 0, 0 in the scene, because I found that I had problems if I made a motion clip somewhere out, not at the origin, and then tried to move them or reuse them. So I just found to, to minimize problems, I always create my motion clips at world 0, and um, I always do everything in place. Like, as you can see, this is just like her standing there, and then it goes into a walking one. So the way I use it, I always make all the motions in place. So like they're on a treadmill. I found that that works the best. So obviously, if you have your character like lunging and slashing, he's going to move. But I always do all my walks and runs um, in place. And then I use splines, like I'll draw a spline. And then I'll use the align to spline. Oops, splines aren't being shown. Then I'll use an align the spline tag, like on here, align to spline. And then I'll use the spline, oops, and then modify it so the character can actually walk along the spline. So that's the way I do it. And you know, you just have to tweak out the timing to make sure it looks right. So those are some other tips for that. And then. Um, but I'm always creating stuff at zero and walking in place. So if you wanted to change anything in this hierarchy, you would go here, go into the hierarchy, and then find the control that you want to change, and then you can. So that's the way you do that. 
And then as far as mixing and matching them, um, you know, if you want to loop them, you click on the motion clip itself, and then you set the number of loops here. So if we just want this clip to play once, then it'll play once. And then the sweet thing about motion clips is that you want to, if you want to do like slow motion, you just like stretch this out, and then it does pretty good interpolation of making it slow motion. So that's like a really fast way to to do something like in slow motion. And conversely, you can do like fast motion too, like that. So using these tabs, and the way you do that, you just click on it, and then you use these little bands, which are built in a Cinema 40s keyframe system. And then let's say like uh, here's another motion clip from this character, and you know if you if you do this, then they'll automatically like blend into each other. So, <laughs> so the reason this happened, you see how his arms are stuck in this pose? It's because there were no keyframes from this motion clip on his arms. So there are keyframes in this motion clip for his arms. So then what happens is that it'll override the other motion clips. So that's another caveat. So I found I usually put keys on everything for the character, like all the controllers and joints, if I know I'm going to be blending it with other motion clips because you have stuff like this happen. So, um, yeah, so watch out for that. And also, uh, what's another thing I want to share? changing the speed let's see yeah so I guess that's it if you had any other questions or something um, I can make another video but as far as motion clips that's kind of the stuff to watch out for so try to create them at world zero um, know that you can turn the hierarchy off but instead of screwing with the hierarchy it's kind of better to plan ahead and um, you know know that you just want to do certain controls you know like you could just put a motion clip on the foot controls if you wanted to, like put these in a new null. And yeah, something else to remember is that if you put, see how there's a motion clip on this character, if I change anything in here, like if I change the hierarchy at all, like if I took this out and put it over here, it usually just fucks everything up and just ruins it. So you have to like leave the character hierarchy exactly as it is because then the motion clip just goes haywire. So yeah, I hope that was helpful. Um... I guess that's it. Until next time, M. Strange saying bye.